Hey, Alex. How's it going? What's going on, Eric? Uh, it's doing good. Good to have you on the phone. Yeah, man. You're in your office, too. It's got the best lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. What? I, I started roofing in 2000. Okay. And my first my first roofs were SBS modified, you know, some big warehouses and that. I, I came up in Toronto, and I did a lot of high-end residential, a lot of things, you know, that really piqued my interest. You know, I love doing cedar. You know, you can have a lot of fun with slate and that. So I, I've been lucky enough to have the privilege to work on certain sites and work with materials that maybe not so many people get the chance to work with. And, you know, you get a love for it. I think it's the artistry. When you find something that has artistry, you feel like it's beyond just the job. You know, you're expressing yourself in a way, right? Yep. But, but yeah, not, you know, when I started in the city, I worked for a couple of bigger companies and they did a lot of, you know, contract jobs off of GCs and stuff, you know, strip classes and things of that nature. So yep. I did a lot of single lock, but, but it's like everything else, right? You know, you're working for a lot of companies and it's production based. You know, we got to get so many squares on a day. So no one's trying to teach you this stuff. And a lot of it's just because they don't know, you know, they got the bid and, you know, let's do it, right? You really got to invest the time, I think. And I think you got to have a love for it. But I've, I've watched probably literally a thousand hours, you know, different languages, different guys. I can name a dozen of them. They're yeah. really good, but you can't understand them. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. You know, what, what I'm missing a lot of is the math. And I think the one thing, you know, we talked about that chimney video and uh, the one that you posted and you went to great de detail, especially with the layout. And the one thing I was having so much trouble with was splitting mm -hmm. when I was trying to do sweeps. Mm -hmm. And it was you telling me that you want to keep the sweep two times the height of the seam. Just a small piece of information like that brought me success. And, and I didn't know it. It was something you can watch as much as you want to. But until someone tells you that, Maybe you hit it on a stroke of luck, you know, but until someone tells you these things, you're fighting the same mistakes over and over again. And you're yeah. going, well, why? What am I doing wrong? And you're watching it more and more and you're just missing certain pieces, right? So, you know, there's great guys out there offering training in that, but they're, they're not doing it in English.